We saw multiple winners making history in this election, including a Chicago state rep who has become the first Latina from Illinois voted into Congress. Representative Delia Ramirez will represent Illinois' third congressional district, which stretches from the city out to Warrenville. The progressive Democrat beat her Republican challenger with about 66 percent of the vote. And Ramirez says she was already busy getting to work as she zoomed with me from her car about this win. There was a big, thick, multi-layered glass ceiling that began to shatter all very quickly. I'll be the first Latina in the entire Midwest. I will be the 14th Latina in Congress. And there is a sense of gratitude and a sense of responsibility. Other barrier busters include Maura Healy in Massachusetts, becoming the first openly gay woman to be a governor in the U.S., one of multiple gains for LGBTQ candidates. More female lawmakers winning, too, such as former White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders. She's going to be the first female governor of Arkansas. Wes Moore is going to be the first black governor of Maryland, and he becomes only the third black governor in all of U.S. history. And this one makes you feel old. Gen Z joins Congress 25 year-old Maxwell Frost will represent Florida's 10th district. And back to Congresswoman-elect Ramirez. She told me today that diversity is what brings this country its strength, and there's going to be a lot more of it at many levels of government.